Emanuele Biro, it's great to see you. Thanks for spending the, My pleasure. sparing the time to talk to us. First question, what's best? Taking part in the Festival of Speed or winning the TT at Revival? Um, honestly, I prefer a little bit the Revival because it's more, let me say, intimate. But uh, winning is a word I don't like in historic races. And uh, uh, of course, I've been very, very happy to win it twice, I think, at the TT. But now I think winning is getting a little bit too important. Most important thing is to drive pieces of history, try to understand them, try to feel them, try to do the best you can. Like the car I drive today, it's a Porsche 908-3, the Golf Porsche from Targa Florio. Very, very high-tech car in those days. It's just uh, unbelievable. Tell us a little bit more about that car, if you would, and how it was to drive up the hill. It confirms what uh, I've been told by drivers who drove it, like Brian Redmond, for instance. The engine is so beautiful. It, it starts pulling from, from uh, below in a very constant way and very honest way, very progressive way. Really good. Most important thing is the lightweight. This car has been uh, designed with zero compromise, including safety, in my opinion, to reduce the weight to the minimum. The car is very short, very, very nimble. I can only imagine how cool it must have been to drive it around the Targa Florio roads, uh, trying hard to win this wonderful race. I think it must have been a very unique uh, experience. It's an experience only... you're surely used to from Le Mans. Yes, yes, but Le Mans, um, mind you, I've done Le Mans once in 1981, then came back with Audi in 99 and the uh, race was quite different. In the older days you had to have a good feeling for the, um, for the car, so you had to drive fast but really respecting the car, gearbox, engine and have a very very good uh, feeling with your teammates, when to attack, how to abuse the car, uh, when to preserve the car, the brakes and everything. Um, when I then went back to Le Mans, let's say the new uh, time, uh, there was nothing you could do to break the car, so the thing required from a racing driver was just to drive as fast as you can, of course without crashing and keeping the car on the road, and in this respect I have to say I prefer the, the modern way because uh, you just go, you just go. <laughs> What did you make of Porsche's victory a couple of weeks ago? I'm, honestly, I, I'm happy for the Porsche guys. They worked very hard and I think you have to acknowledge that they deserve the victory. Would you be like to be out there still in those sorts of cars? I would love to, uh, although I'm not sure about the hybrid because there's uh, this fuel um, economy uh, way of driving, which uh, I guess if you don't know anything else, it's fine. But um, it's a little bit of a different technique, so I'm happy to have driven the R8 and the R10 with this massive power and you know that you had to really uh, go for it. You've driven most things of course, including Formula One cars. Yes. Do you what, follow Formula One very closely these days and have you yes. got any, any, any hints and tips for McLaren? They're a very, very high engineering company in, in, this, in those days, you know, 88, 9, 1991, Honda was just class of, of their own. The, the reaction time when we required some modification was so fast 
and for some reason things don't work this time. So I really feel sorry for them. But this is the good thing about racing. If it was easy, everybody could do it. So you know, sometimes you are in the in the right side, sometimes you are in the wrong side. Have you seen one car here that you haven't driven that you would really give your eye teeth to have a go in up the hill? I would like to drive them all, especially some of the Formula One cars of the 70s. I would like to drive, but I'm now driving in the in the batch. Um, Derek, Hell, uh, Derek Bell, um, uh, not memorial, uh, Cele celebration. Ce celebration, yeah. And um, all these sports cars are so beautiful. So maybe I'm too greedy, but I, I would drive them all. Emmanuel, thank you very much. And we'll see you later this year yes. at Revival. We look forward very much to seeing you there and the rest of the weekend here at the Festival of Speed. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Ciao, ciao.